we'll guide you through how to install and add shaders in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Shaders can be a great addition to Minecraft. They go and change the lighting and they can make it look really cool and sort of higher quality in a way. So to go and get started, let's come and close out of the game like so. And what we'll need to do is go and press quick again. Here we are on my desktop. So to go and do this, we can go and use Iris and Sodium. So what we need to do is go and open up a web browser of your choice. I'm using Chrome, but it doesn't matter. And you can go and type in Iris Shaders like so. And you can come to the site irisshaders.dev. Here we are. Now, what you can do is go and read through here, but to go and install it, you can press the download now button. And then what you can do is press download universal jar like so. We'll then go and get it, go and download. And now what we need to do is go and get some shader packs. So a great site you can get them from is called CurseForge. You can go and type it in and search for it and then go to curseforge.com and we can select Minecraft. Now what you can do is press browse all at the top here, scroll down into browse by and you can then select shaders and you're gonna see some different packs. There are loads to go and choose from. One of my favorite ones though is complementary shaders here and you can go and click on the different packs and you can scroll through and go and see how they're going to go and look. So in this case, we'll then go and press on the files and we can scroll down and we can go and get the version. So I like to go and get the most recent ones. So we can go over to the right, press the three dots and press download file like so. It should then automatically download. We've now downloaded what we're gonna need. Before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Apex Hosting. I'll put a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. And at the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice. If we scroll down, you can go and check out some of the great features. So my favorite things are it being 24 seven and having 24 seven live chat assistance whenever it's needed. Instant setups so when you go and get the server, you can get playing pretty much as soon as possible. A powerful panel for managing it and loads more. Check them out if you're interested. To continue though, we need to go and open up our file explorer and come to downloads. So you can press downloads to the left here. And what we then need to do is go and run the Iris installer. Double click on it and it should then go and open up like so. Now, if it doesn't, this is because you don't have Java installed. So come back to your web browser, type in java.com or just search for Java. You can then select download Java for desktops, press the download button again and it will download. When it's downloaded, go and install it, return to Iris installer and right click, hover over open with and you can select choose another app, select Java and press always and it will then go and run like so. If it doesn't, you may need to do something called a jar fix, which we've got a video on. Select the game version. In this case, I'll get the most recent one. We'll do Iris only and press install and wait. And we can then close out of it. And what we can then do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Go to the left of play and make sure Iris and Sodium is selected and we can then press play. Understand you're playing a modified version of Minecraft. Now what we can do is go and get into a world, pause it and press options and press video settings. And we can then press shader packs at the top, find the pack and we can drag and drop it in like so. Make sure shaders are enabled, select the pack and click apply. And as you can see, these shaders look absolutely incredible. We can go and see the cows look different, the water looks different, and everything has just got way more details to it.